The cosmos, an infinitely vast and mysterious expanse, has captivated human curiosity for as long as we've existed. From ancient stargazers to modern-day astronomers, we've gazed at the night sky, entranced by the stars and pondering our place in the universe. But the universe is not always kind. Throughout history, Earth has been subjected to extraordinary, and at times catastrophic, celestial events. In this episode, we'll dive into another five such mysterious incidents that have shaped our planet's history. From powerful solar superstorms to mysterious flashes detected by satellites, each story is evidence of the raw power and unpredictability of the cosmos. Together, these events remind us of our planet's vulnerability and leave us questioning just how much of the universe remains beyond our understanding. Welcome back to Fireside Unsolved, Episode 124, Five Mysterious Celestial Events, Part 2. In 1859, the world experienced an unprecedented solar event that would forever be remembered as the Carrington Event. Named for British astronomer Richard Carrington, who first observed a sudden and brilliant flash of light on the sun's surface while studying sunspots, this extraordinary phenomenon unleashed one of the most powerful geomagnetic storms ever recorded. Within just 17 hours, an unusually rapid time frame for a coronal mass ejection, Earth's magnetic field was struck by the solar storm. The results were both spectacular and alarming. Across the globe, skies lit up with dazzling auroras that stretched as far south as Cuba and Jamaica, painting the heavens in brilliant shades of red, green, and purple. In many areas, the night was so bright that people mistook the celestial spectacle for dawn, starting their day early, while others feared it was a sign of apocalyptic doom. The storm's impact extended beyond visual wonder. Telegraph systems, the cutting-edge technology of the time, suffered catastrophic failures. Reports described sparks flying from wires, operators receiving electric shocks, and even paper igniting from the currents. Remarkably, some telegraph stations found they could send messages without batteries, powered solely by the geomagnetic energy in the atmosphere. Despite its historical documentation, the Carrington event retains several mysteries. Why was it so potent compared to other solar storms? Ice core data suggests it was at least twice as strong as any solar event in the last 500 years. Its speed is another mystery. Most coronal mass ejections take days to reach Earth, yet this one arrived in mere hours. Scientists speculate that a preceding solar flare or unique magnetic conditions might have accelerated its journey. The consequences of a similar event today could be devastating. Our reliance on technology, power grids, satellites, GPS, and communication networks makes modern society far more vulnerable. Some studies estimate that the economic damage from a comparable storm could exceed $2 trillion in the United States alone. The Carrington event serves as a potent reminder of the sun's immense power. On September 22, 1979, a U.S. Vela satellite designed to monitor compliance with the Partial Nuclear Test Ban Treaty detected something extraordinary, a distinct double flash. A double flash is distinct in its unique characteristic of an atmospheric nuclear explosion. Except this event occurred over the remote Atlantic Ocean, far from human habitation. The double flash observed by the satellite matched the signature of prior nuclear tests, yet no nation claimed responsibility, and no definitive evidence of a nuclear detonation was ever found. Independent investigations yielded conflicting conclusions. A U.S. government panel, chaired by physicist Jack Ruina, concluded that the event could have been a false reading caused by a micrometeoroid striking the satellite. However, this theory is controversial. Earlier detections by the Vela system had proven reliable, and other experts, including members of the Naval Research Laboratory, suggested it was indeed a low-yield nuclear test. Theories abound as to who might have been responsible. Some believe it was a covert joint nuclear test by Israel and apartheid-era South Africa, collaborating under a secret weapons program. This theory is supported by declassified documents and circumstantial evidence, such as increased radioactive iodine levels in Australian sheep following the event. Others propose that it was a Soviet experiment or even a natural phenomenon like a meteorite impact. 
Despite decades of scrutiny, no conclusive evidence has emerged. Yet without concrete proof, the incident remains unresolved, a tantalizing enigma that straddles the boundary between geopolitics and the unknown. What truly happened on that remote area on that September night may never be known. Was it a clandestine nuclear test cloaked in secrecy or an extraordinary natural event misinterpreted by human technology? On September 6, 2014, a loud explosion shook Managua, Nicaragua, creating a 39-foot-wide crater near the city's airport. Initially, officials speculated that the cause was a meteorite impact. However, no witnesses saw a fireball, no meteorite fragments were recovered, and seismic readings were inconclusive. This lack of direct evidence turned the Managua event into an unexplained celestial incident. Some researchers proposed that the crater was linked to asteroid 2014 RC, which flew past Earth the same day. However, the asteroid's trajectory ruled out any connection, as it passed 40,000 kilometers above the planet, hours after the explosion. Other potential explanations include a natural sinkhole, ground-based explosives, or an undetected phenomenon within the Earth's crust. Local scientists discovered unusual debris at the site, such as compacted particles and reflective fragments, which were sent to international laboratories for analysis. Despite advanced studies, no definitive conclusion was reached, and the crater remains an unresolved puzzle blending elements of cosmic mystery and terrestrial uncertainty. On the morning of June 30, 1908, the skies over Siberia erupted in a catastrophic explosion near the Podkamenaya Tunguska River. The blast, equivalent to approximately 15 megatons of TNT, hundreds of times more powerful than the atomic bomb dropped on Hiroshima, flattened 80 million trees across 2,150 square kilometers or over 800 square miles. The shockwave shattered windows and knocked people off their feet hundreds of kilometers away, while glowing skies were reported as far as Europe. The devastation was so extreme that locals initially attributed the event to supernatural forces, such as the wrath of the thunder god Ogdi. Scientific investigations into the Tunguska event didn't begin until 1927 due to the remoteness of the area and logistical challenges. Led by Russian scientist Leonid Kulik, the first expedition found trees scorched and flattened in a radial pattern but no evidence of an impact crater. This anomaly gave rise to the dominant theory that the event was caused by an airburst, a meteoroid or small comet exploding in the atmosphere at an altitude of approximately 5 to 10 kilometers, or 3 to 6 miles high, but disintegrating before reaching the ground. Alternative hypotheses have ranged from comets, whose icy compositions might explain the lack of physical debris, to more speculative ideas like mini black holes or even extraterrestrial intervention. Modern simulations and comparisons with events like the 2013 Chelyabinsk meteor have largely supported the airburst theory, but the precise details, such as the object's exact size and composition, remain unclear. On February 9, 1913, an extraordinary celestial event captivated observers from Canada to Brazil as a series of bright meteors traveled nearly horizontally across the sky. Known as the Great Meteor Procession, this phenomenon was unlike typical meteor showers. Instead of radiating from a single point in the sky, these meteors appeared to move in a majestic, coordinated formation, tracing an arc that spanned over 7,000 miles across Earth's surface. What set this event apart was the slow, deliberate motion of the meteors. They glowed red and yellow, with some trailing sparks or releasing smaller fireballs as they traveled. Witnesses described them as bars of flaming material, moving in unison. The meteors remained visible for several minutes, significantly longer than the fleeting streaks of light associated with ordinary meteors. Reports of accompanying sounds added to the mystery. Thunderous booms and ground tremors were noted in some areas, leading researchers to speculate that the meteors were relatively low in Earth's atmosphere. However, despite the widespread observations, no meteorites were recovered, and no physical evidence has ever been found. A leading hypothesis suggests the procession may have been the result of a small celestial body, such as a fragmented asteroid, temporarily captured in Earth's orbit before burning up. This theory aligns with the meteor's synchronized paths and the lack of debris. Some even suggest these meteors could represent remnants of a mini-moon, a natural satellite temporarily orbiting Earth before disintegrating. While modern technology would provide extensive data on such an event today, the 1913 Great Meteor Procession remains an enduring mystery. Its beauty and scale, coupled with unanswered questions about its origins, continue to inspire both scientific inquiry and public fascination. 
As we close our journey through these five curious celestial events, we're reminded of the vast and unpredictable place in the universe that we call home. From the raw power of the Carrington event to the mystery of the Tunguska explosion, each story reflects humanity's enduring quest to understand the cosmos. These events challenge our understanding, spark our imagination, and remind us of Earth's vulnerability amidst the immense forces of nature. They also serve as a call to remain curious, to look to the skies not only with wonder, but with a desire to learn and prepare for what lies ahead. If you enjoyed exploring these mysteries, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share your thoughts in the comments below. Let us know what you think about these celestial events and what we should cover in part three. And as always, keep looking up. The universe has so much more to reveal. Stay safe, and we'll see you next time. Fireside. Thank you for joining us for another episode of Fireside Unsolved. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe to help the channel grow. Until next time, take it easy and be easy, you filthy bastards. <laughs>